Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Grace and Old Paper. I wanted to do a little, little <laughs> stumbled over my words. I wanted to do a little bit of work on my horse journal. Um, I think I showed y'all this a while back. Um, I made the cover. This was an old journal, a writing journal. It was a very thin one. It was, it was very, very thin. It was only about that, that thick, if you can see that. And so I gutted it, and I'm, of course, going to make a, a larger spine to go on it. Um, but I loved it because it has this leathery texture. It feels like it feels like real leather. It's not. And I love this little embossed detail. If you can see it. Um, so I really love that. So I've been uh, working on it ever so often and putting a lot of thought into it because it is wider than the normal journal. And so... It has um, caused me some issues with pages. <laughs> a standard 12 by 12 sheet, when you fold it, would only come to about here. So it wasn't big enough for the journal. So I've had to do some paper piecing. Um, and so this is kind of what I've come up with. I've, I've started working on some pages and trying to figure out what I have that I want to use in it. Um, it's not going to be a small book. <laughs> because I'm a little crazy when it comes to, to pages. I, I like too many pages. That's my problem. I like too many pages. I like, I'll, you know, I'll see something and I'm like, oh, I like that, I wanna put that in there. And then I'll like, oh, but I wanna put some of this in it. And then I'll find something else and I wanna put that in it. So by the time I get through with just the pages, it's, it's, it's pretty big, but this is what I want. And it's what I like. So I haven't made my spine yet on purpose because I want to see how big just the pages are going to be before I make the spine so that I don't make the spine too small. Does that make sense? Uh, and y'all will have to forgive me today. Um, my anxieties and um, um, I know I've talked about this before, but I do battle anxieties and and some depression and uh, panic attacks and stuff like that but uh, I'm a little shaky today and a um, little jittery a um, little emotional so if I ramble y'all please forgive me this is my therapy of sorts is working on this stuff and I just, I've got to the point where I, I need to share this. I wanted to share this just to catch everybody up on what I've been working on. So I thought I might as well just go ahead and try to do it. I know in my head that if I don't like the video, I can always delete it. So that gives me a little bit of mental freedom. So anyway, we're going to dive into it. So my 12 by 12 papers, I wanted, I wanted to have seven signatures. No, I don't know why. I just want to make this a good size journal. <laughs> <laughs> an overdoer that's me so anyway I have my scrapbook papers is what I wanted to use as the outer leaves of the each signature and like I said they were not big enough by that much um, and so I decided to add on music paper to everyone I uh, hope you can see that okay I hope the lighting's all right today uh, I added on the paper but I did this pretty edge on it if you can see it and what what I made this with was years ago I was into scrapbooking just lightly and I had gotten a set of cheap scissors and this is what I used to cut it with yes I cut every one with these um, because I don't have any of those fancy edge cutter things yet so this is what I have and this is what I used so I made this and I have decided to use brown thread throughout this journal um, and so I just sewed a little line I, I glued it first and then I just sewed this little line just to add a little extra um, stability and make sure nothing comes loose you know I haven't determined what I'm going to do on the inside yet I may cover the whole thing with like I don't know what yet <laughs> I will do something to the inside so that's that's my signature covers I have written out 
this is the pages that I'm I'm going to have and it ends up being 12 pages per signature that's probably too many but my crazy self can't figure out which one of these pages that I love that I could take out so let me go through them with you and show you what I have all right so we've got the covers and this, this is my covers. I've got this one. This is going to be the first one because I think it kind of looks a little leathery. I like it. And then I have this wood toned one. It looks just like real wood. Hmm. This one, I like the colors. Kind of reminds me of a rusted old barn. This one I just liked. Kind of goes with the, the color palette I got going on. Love this. Looks like um, somebody that did a lot of wood burning stuff on, on real pretty wood. I like the blue because it kind of goes with some of my papers and again it looks like the side of a peeling building you know with the paints peeling off and everything and then this one so that's my that's my signature covers so I've got that and I've got those all sewn and prepared I just gotta figure out what to do on the inside and then um, these I have called these pretty horse tea pages <laughs> because um, I had this book that had these pretty horse images in it but the it didn't line up to where I could use a whole make a whole leaf out of it so I just joined it with some tea, tea dyed paper um, and I don't mind that it has all this this on the back because it's all about horses so it's about the horse in particular so I have all of these and I've joined them all with washi tapes boy did I go through a lot of washi tape um, but I did glue my washi tape so that it's on there. It should be on there permanently. So I have that one and then this one. I hope I'm holding these in frame okay. I have the Clydesdales. I think I got my camera a little closed, but I don't know what to do about it now. Um, have those. This one. And this one. And this one. So these, uh, these I definitely want in the journal. Definitely. These are my centers. And one of these I had to kind of piece together. But these came from a children's knowledge book, I think. It had like, it had a section on bugs. It had a section on flowers. It had a section on birds. It had a section on horses. So I found these. And it had this, this spread on the inside. And again, I have joined with glued washi tapes. So, and then the back is the black and white. So it has black and white on the outside and it has color on the inside. So it had this spread. It had this one, and there's the back. It's Bronco on the inside, or Mustangs. And I, I had to join them with washi tape because of the way the, the book, it was in such bad shape that, that I couldn't, it, the pages weren't good to, they weren't joined together well. Um, so a harness horse and a hackney, and on the inside, steeplechase. There's that one. And then I have a Morgan coach horse. This one, um, they actually were together as a spread, but um, they don't. They don't make a complete picture like the other ones did. But I went ahead and left it the way the way it was originally. And we have an Appaloosa, American Saddle Horse. And the inside is Fire Horse, which I thought that was particularly cool. And we have Arabian and the Polo Pony. And the inside is the Pony Express. All right, here's the one I had to piece together. So the outside is the Thoroughbred and then a Shetland Pony. But as where these are paper, and you can tell it's thinner, this one has a thicker feel like cardstock because the only other spread that was available to me was a circus horse. And I hated the image. So I came up with this. This was like kind of like the one of the end papers in the book. It was the last page. It had this, and then this was the last page, I think. And this came out of a different book. But I love this image. Um, 
but the image that was on here was a a horse riding around the ring with a clown on it and he was a very creepy looking clown <laughs> very creepy <laughs> and the other page that went with it um had an image of somebody like training a circus horse and had the whip out and i didn't like that either so um matter of fact i have that i think yeah here that was the ori original other side and i just I didn't like I didn't like this so that was a no-go for me so I came up with this so yes this will feel a little different but if my OCD brain demands that I have seven signatures then by golly that's what I'm I'm having here <laughs> so that one does feel different but I have it Okay, and then I also have these, I call them book and info pages. And these are, these are pages I have gotten out of um, just random books about horses. It's like this one's about safety and tack. And then this one has uh, this pretty saddle and all kinds of other implements on there. Um, let's see, this one. Oh, I folded it weird has another thing about the Pony Express and I have folded this different is it's, it's small on one side and larger on the other so that these words I don't know I just I like the way it looked and that way it wouldn't divide the rider in half which I did not want to do so there's that one this just came out of a book of horse care and it has points of a horse like that this has the anatomy and physiology of a horse has contents and I don't mind that either it's kind of cool beautiful saddles really pretty ones and I, I folded it different too because well, I, don't, well, I don't know why I folded it different I just did really not sure and then there's this one again has saddles all right so that's those pages and then I have music pages so I found a couple of horse themed music. Uh, jingle, jangle, jingle. I got spurs. <laughs> it's out of a vintage music book. So I have a couple of pages of that. Um, I have, uh, of course, some Christian music. I always like putting some of this in when I need extra music. So I have those. And then I found this Get Along Little Doggies. And it has that pretty sky blue. And then Back in the Saddle Again, recorded by Gene Autry. So I had two pages of that. So that's my music pages. Um, Onion Skin, I looked up on one of my thrift hauls and uh, thrift shopping visits and found this vintage onion skin paper. And so it is very, very thin really doesn't add much to the you know thickness of the signature um, but it's this beautiful aged color and I have folded it odd because what I think I would like to do is on the hang on on the center I'm trying to get one for some reason I couldn't on the center I thought it'd be kind of cool to, to put this right before the center so you could see the horse through it so anyway, just an idea. So there's that. Sorry, I'm trying to keep all this stuff organized. So that's my onion skins. Uh, next, I said large notebook, and this actually came out of the original journal. This was the pages that were in the original journal that I'm using the cover for. I did um, reinforce the spines with washi tape because it was sewn in so many spots that it had a lot of holes a lot of holes and i just was afraid that would eventually come apart so i have reinforced it with washi tapes and i yeah i ended up having to use <laughs> two or three different washi tapes because like i said i went through so much and the big spools for some reason just didn't have much on them so there's those and then i have what i call small ledgers um this I only have I'm only using three of these I love these but I, I have very little left very little 
and I've tea dyed these so they have that nice vintage color and then I have this little ledger book that I had um, that they come out just clean as a whistle but they're this small and it was naturally aged so I have joined the pages with a strip of music and all I've done is glued that glued that in so hopefully that will stay good so I have joined all of those I didn't I decided not to do the outside I thought that was just fine it's all glued well and then I have um, what I said was green ledger and grid so add a little bit of green in my book I have uh, these pages and they're these are tea dyed these are naturally aged then I have notebook paper and I guess if I was going to leave anything out, this would be something I could leave out. And it's naturally aged as well. But again, being a bit weird about things, that would leave me an odd number of pages. <laughs> and my brain says, no. <laughs> I'm one of those when I turn the volume up on the TV, I have to stop at an odd number. Not an odd number. An even number. I have to stop on an even number. Or something like 15 or 20 or 25 you know I, I I can't just stop at 11 or 17 always I, I, I'm just weird so I have my notebook papers and then I called these journal papers because they, they did they came out of a journal um, again when they came out they did not come out very well so I reinforced the seams with washi tape but I like these as well and then I come to what I said was agenda and tiny notepad I had just a few pages of this left this was all I had left of this little notebook that I have loved 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 using it didn't have many pages to start with but again it had stitch 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 all the way down it and it was it just very it just seemed like it make a week seem to me so I, I reinforced it and I loved this color because it went with what I did with the agenda pages. I have joined these with ribbon, a wide ribbon. And I have glued that as well as stitched it. I don't know if you can see that, but I, I've done some, you can see it on this side. I've done some stitches. I am one of those that do not mind backing up to secure my thread. It doesn't bother me. I know some people pull it off cleanly and tie the tie the threads and and go to all that trouble. But I don't mind it. It kind of has a homespun look to me and I, I, I like that. So that's the way I joined those. So that makes all of my pages. Now <laughs> I asked the question. And I asked the question and I feel like almost rhetorically because I rarely get my questions answered <laughs> I ask questions and I rarely get them answered but I asked what would you get rid of would you get rid of any would you leave it the way it is because I really love every single page and yes I want to decorate this book as well I want this to be a completely pretty up book I'm going to have um, some lace on some of the edges. I haven't determined which yet. But I'm going to. I'm going to embellish this book. Um, this is some of this is the washi tapes I used. I just threw my pen. Um, I have made a few. I haven't finished this. I just backed it with some of that vintage notebook paper. But I love this little card. And I have more cards I can use. I like this little envelope. Um, I made this yesterday and I'm thinking about putting it on here. I know it's a little bulky. I'm going to go iron this down a little bit to see if I can get this ruffle to lay down just a little bit. But I kind of like that. The, the This color of the button. This is a vintage button. Kind of goes with the hay here. But what I did was I have this is came from a little girl's dress this lace and it has these flowers on it so what I did was I cut it out and then I cut out the center 
and I gathered, I started out, I gathered it here, and it didn't have the effect I wanted, so I went in right around the base of these, and gathered that in as well, and it made this little flower, and then I just sewed a button on it. I think it's kind of cool. I actually made another one. Let me find it in here. Get these things out. Right here. This is a little tiny one. It's a little off whack. It's not perfect, but I still like it. I made this one, and that's a vintage button as well. I made this one uh, from this lace tablecloth I got from somewhere. Um, I have already cut that one out. Hang on a second. Let me find another one. had these little flowers right here on the corner so I cut this one out right here and cut the center out and just gathered right around here and then sewed the button on and it made this little flower so I'm going to use that as some embellishment um let's see what else I have I've gathered some things I think I'm going to use some of these as pockets I found this one as well I may use I just started pulling out some of my little hankies that I've collected I like this one as well because I like the green there it is and the green pretty with the little bit of gray blue so I haven't decided what all I'm going to use there found some more brown ribbon all right see I also have other things I have made this little I haven't covered the back yet I got to put something on the back but I put this on the front my grandson was helping me and he wanted to help me do some inking so I just slapped this picture on here real quick to let him help ink the edges because he wanted to help Gwemma that's what he says Gwemma he's almost five thank you very much <laughs> I've already showed y'all these I did go ahead and cut this whole thing out and I'm gonna have that on a page somewhere because I just love it I had previously made this one and this one and that's backed with some good uh, that was actually from a restaurant takeout bag. <laughs> but I've been I've been collecting things. I haven't finished the back of that, but uh, he was helping me with that one too. And this one, so that's why the backs are not finished because I was <laughs> hurrying through it. <laughs> but I love this little image, and I thought I could put that on a page and use it as a small tuck spot or pocket. Um, let's see here. I did cut this out of that book I had been talking to you all about, about the uh, saddle maker's wife. But I love this little snippet of information. And I backed it with some of my, um, let me pull one out for you. I just sat down with my daughter one day and made collages. So I just backed it with some of that. There's that. And this was already this shape in a book and I thought it would make an excellent tag. So I have that one. And this one I backed with the collage. Haven't done anything with this yet, but I love, love, love the image. So I have those I can use. Of course, we all have things like the index cards and the little sacks. I have a lot of dictionary words, word snippets, definitions, you know, stirrup, bridle, you know, that kind of thing, all horsey words. So, oh, I want to use this napkin on a page, too. Some, oh, that's what I could do on the back of uh, the uh, signature cover pages. I could put some napkin on there. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? I think it would. So, anyway, I have this stuff, kind of, this stuff that I'm working on and collecting. And I have way more. Way, way more. If anybody needs any horse <laughs> images or something... Let me know, because I've got some. I've collected a little bit too much. So, um, I've just started collecting this stuff and working on it. And I, I, a little bit of confession here. I watch all these lovely people on YouTube. And two of my um, junk journal idols are Catherine at Sunnyside Journals and Nancy at Wishes and Weeds also watch Gail, Gail Augustinelli. And let me tell you, their art, artistry and creativity amaze me and slightly intimidate me. <laughs> because I struggle, I struggle just to decide, okay, should I leave this plane? Should I put this? 
Should I put that? Or should I put lace around it? What should I do? I had a hard enough time just deciding what paper to put on the back and to, to um, round the edges. So my brain is constantly not just second guessing me, but triple, quadruple, and whatever it is after that. I, I'm just, these anxieties, man, they, I'm telling you, they, they grab a hold of you and just drive you crazy sometimes. So questions. Do I have too many pages? Should I get rid of something? What should I get rid of? <laughs> Bear with me on the decorating and um, all of that. I kind of think that looks cool. So that's probably what I will go with. I'm, I figure it could, you know, slot in this way as a, in a tuck spot or something. Um, and that this would be out. I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of winging it. I watch other people's videos. And I think, okay, I need to try to do that. And then I'll go look through my stuff and I can't find anything that goes along with what they did. <sighs> so I have got my end papers sort of prepared. These are going to be my end papers. I just love them. They came from the reprint of the Sears and Roebuck catalog. And I had to um, back them on black cardstock because there were images on the other side as well and this black ink they use it when I laid it down on something light colored like the you know the inside of the the book it showed through and I, I did not like that and the only thing that would stop that was this black so I'm okay with that it makes a nice good end paper um, and so I haven't figured out which section of it yet to use because it's way bigger than the spot the, the cover so I'll have to figure out which sections of it to use but I love this stuff and I love the the pretty saddles I'll definitely have at least this part in there because I love that so I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it off this way or I hadn't figured that yet but that's gonna be my end papers and they are prepared but I have a lot more things hang on a second here see if I can get it over here without wrecking everything I have collected, this is not all I have collected. These are just bits of paper that I've already used. I have stuff like this that has the, the same color tones that I can use. I have images and images. I have little stories, little, little things. Pony Express story. I love this little Christmas pony story. So I have those. Oh, and this was famous thoroughbreds. So I love all this stuff and I want to include it somehow. I want to try to include a, a junk mail envelope project at some point in time. I had pulled this out of that book about the saddle maker's wife and I had originally stuck it down to, you remember I told you on that center one, the one I made that had the clown picture I had to cover up. I had originally stuck this on there. It's two pieces of tea dyed paper and then this image. And, and and I quickly realized, thank goodness quickly, that it made it really thick and I just didn't like the way it flowed. So I peeled it off pretty quickly and put that other picture on. So it worked out fine. Um, and I was able to save this, but I still like this and will possibly try to use it somewhere. A little bit more of that music. So look at all these, these images. They're just so pretty. Um, I have this horse in particular, two or three different images. I even like this. Trotting cracks at the forge. Not sure what that meant, but you know, I like it. Another pretty horse, another pretty horse. I think that's the same. No, it's not. It's just got the same little baby. So I've saved all this stuff that I want to do something with. It's the cover of a country magazine. And I, I love that image. My grandson helped me pick this out of a book. Does he love the sunset? We like these. So, I mean, I've got all these things that I have saved. There's that horse again. And these are so big, I know I'd have to fussy cut them out and only use a part of it, but... <laughs> Help! <laughs> these, I know, will be good to turn into tags and and pockets and things like that so and then I have more of that paper the same papers 
so anxiety days are probably not good days to work on it but but I I want to work on it does that make sense it, it's I want something I want to do um, but my brain is like driving me crazy too so let me put together a sample signature and let's just look and see what it'll be like again driving myself crazy um let's see wait a minute i had something somewhere i was looking for okay so i gotta start with my cover buried on the bottom we'll start with this one get those out of my way now all right and then i kind of wanted to have the pretty horse next let's just go with let's go with this guy so i think i want something smaller maybe one of these Am I even in frame? Not really. Here we go. I keep trying to adjust my camera to find just the right spot. Um, let's, do, let's do one of these. Make sure it's facing the right way. You wouldn't want to put something together upside down or backwards, would you? Um, how about one of these things? Let's go with maybe... Here, we'll do that one. Anatomy of a horse. I like that. Um, maybe that. Do y'all have indecisiveness about how to put this stuff together? Because I do. Um... Which one? Hmm. Oh my God, it's this do 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 do. Sorry, thinking in my head. Do a note of paper. Again, which one do I want? Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Where did I put that other little one? Did it come in the middle? I think I'm going to do this one down this way. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then maybe something bigger. Big, 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 big. There we go. Hmm. All right. I think I want the back in the saddle. Gene Autry. Oh, yeah. I like that. And then what have I got left? Let's just do one of these right here on top. about the biggest page there okay I've got left well all I got left I think is the centers and the onion skin so there we go all right, so we put one of these in hmm we'll just go with the palomino all right so there we go I have to do a little 
trimming right here if I want them all to come out the same, which I do. Which I do. So I'll have to figure out which pages need cutting down. Weirdly, I think it's the original, <laughs> the original papers. Um, but it was the way they sat in the spine, um, and the way the spine was made that um, somehow the pages ended up bigger than the the cover is. Uh, maybe some of that we'll have to see. But that's what a signature will be like. I don't think it's too bad. And I haven't put these through a book press yet, um, a paper press. So I'll have to do that as well. And that will flatten them down as well. You know what? I think I'm going to go for it and get them all put together and then put them in my paper press overnight and see how bad it looks. <laughs> And then try to come up with some ephemera for it and start decorating some pages and stuff. Um, which is the fun part, but also the drive me crazy part. Um, so anyway, this was a bit of a ramble today. Not much work actually being done. I just wanted to show y'all what I've come up with so far. And if you have any suggestions, let me know. I do like the way this is looking. I like having different... I think I would want to raise that up. I like having different size pages and um, different layers, but I also want it to look good on the edges, on the edge of the book. Does that make sense? Um, and I will want to add some lace onto something. I'm just not sure what yet. And maybe some other embellishments, maybe some ribbon or something. I have some pretty ribbons somewhere. I have a little bit of... Well, I don't know what I've done with it now. I'll find it next time. How about that? I do have some pretty ribbon to put on um, a fancy edging. I have no idea what I've done with it. My desk is a mess, a mess, a mess, a mess. And I have sorted through my buttons and found some good vintage buttons. Love this thing. It was actually a piece of earring, but the back just popped right off. So. I can always glue that on somewhere, but I love some of these old buttons. Up there, that's the top. Even this big one. <laughs> kind of love that one too. So, I have I have sorted out some of those, and I've got to fussy cut some of my images, and <sighs> but I've got to get the pages together before I can um, start decorating them. And I want to see how big this book is going to be before I make the spine. Because um, I use the rolling pin method like um, both of my idols, Miss Nancy and Miss Catherine do. Um, and so I'll, I have several different that I've collected now. Or I could use a Pringles can like she said before. So I could do that. Anyway, this was, I'm sorry, this was kind of a nervous jittery ramble day. Do y'all ever have anxiety days? Does anybody else have that issue um, besides me it's just this is a day I want to sit in my craft room and kind of piddle with stuff um, but I also kind of drive myself crazy too <laughs> so what I'm going to do is get off of here and maybe put my signatures together and while I'm doing that I will watch some nice calming videos from some of my favorite ladies and just craft and watch so, y'all let me know if you have any ideas. Let me know if you think what I've done is going to turn out okay. Or should I take out any pages? And if so, what pages? Because um, I, I do want to add in stuff like maybe an, an envelope or some page flips. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so, I just want this to be a, a fun journal to look through. I, I also like some of the style of uh, Johanna and uh, we all know who Yo Johanna is and you know she adds in she'll she'll tape in extra flips and and things and I love the interactive part of this these journals and I want this to be interactive where there are things to open and flip and stuff like that so but I want it done in, in a really pretty way so um, anyway you can see my hands are just just shaking so 
um, I'm going to get off here and do something calming. So may God bless you and keep you safe.